Welcome to my fourth video on the topic of ethics and inspiration as part of the daily dose of Torah offered by the Beit Midrash. My focus is on Mesilat Yasharim, the path of the just, a Jewish ethical work written by Rabbi Chaim Moshe Lutzato, the Ramchal, in the 18th century. In the previous video, I spoke about the second chapter in the book, which introduces the first character trait, the virtue of vigilance. There, the Rabchal explains how vigilance requires examination of one's ways to see if they, are comm if they are commendable, and how the evil inclination places burdens on a person to prevent him from being vigilant. And through wisdom, great effort, and help from Hashem, can you be successful. Today, we'll take a look, a look at the third chapter, Bebe'ul Chalke Hazeirut, the elements of vigilance. So the chapter begins, so one who wishes to oversee his conduct and be vigilant, two methods are necessary for him. On the one hand, he needs to ponder what constitutes the true good a person should choose, and the true evil that he should flee from. So the first thing you need to examine is what's good, and what's evil? Vashniya, and on the other hand, the deeds that he himself does, to see if his own deeds are good or evil. And these fall into two categories, at the, at the time of the performance of the deeds, and regarding past deeds. So, there's... On the, on the one hand, there's examining what's good and what's evil, and on the other hand, it's examining your own goods, whether they fall into good or evil. Um, and and within your deeds, there's two categories, present deeds and, and past deeds. So, Bishat Maseh, for the present deeds, Shiloyaseh he shouldn't perform any deed, he shouldn't perform it without first weighing it on the scales that we just mentioned, of the good versus evil. And regarding past deeds, He should recall what his past deeds were, And he should weigh them as well on, these, on this scale of, 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 of good and evil. And to see if there's anything evil uh, uh, contained in it. In order to reject it, Umaminatov, and to see if there's any good, Lehatmidbo Velitchazekbo, to persevere in it and to strengthen himself. The Imim Tsabahem Minara, and if if he finds uh, within them any wrongdoing, as it bonin veyachobesikhlo, he should contemplate and investigate in his mind Ezetahbulayase Lasu Minarahahu to determine what tactic he should use. Um, to turn aside from the wrongdoing and to move away from it, and to cleanse himself from it and purify himself. Um, and the, the Ramchal continues to explain how, how the, two folk, the, the two points you should focus on are, on the one hand, examining your deeds um, to reject the wrongful actions and to purify the good conduct, to, to examine what you're doing good and to take it to a whole other level and to improve that as well. And that's the, that's the beginning of this chapter, and he sums up this section uh, by saying, uh, In summary, A person should examine his actions, all of them, and oversee his ways, in order to remove from himself any bad tendency or trait, and let alone a sin or transgression. So that's the first half of the chapter. And the second half of the chapter, the Ramchal discusses how you should set aside um, set times uh, in order to, to examine your ways and to, and to oversee what you had done and how you can improve it. Um, and he brings different proofs from the words of our sages or through parables um, showing why this is the best thing to do. Um, he also uh, goes a bit deeper into something he mentioned in the last chapter, the 
the the difficult the difficulty that the evil inclination uh, brings and the confusion that it can cause a person. Um, and, and again, he ends up uh, that he ends the chapter by saying, um, by emphasizing the importance of examining your ways and finding the set times for it um, and weighing them on the scale of good versus evil, um, both current actions and past ones, and how that's the best way to acquire vigilance um, and, and, and put you on the right path um, towards, uh, towards serving Hashem. Uh, next time, uh, Bezrat Hashem, um, we'll look at the fourth chapter, which goes more into detail about the different aspects of acquiring vigilance. Thank you.